Rocket Review. So, for the past few weeks, we sent out this form. Um, it's a Google form, the link's in the description, by the way, for people to submit pictures or videos of their rockets and for us to actually review them kind of in a fun way. So today, we just have pictures. We don't have really have videos, but we're gonna be looking at people's rockets and kind of looking at them, see what the cool stuff other people are doing. That way you guys know what everyone in the rocket community is doing. It's just three people, three or four people today that we're gonna be looking at. So not much today, but if you guys wanna be featured in one of our videos, show off your rockets and show us like build techniques that you use, feel free to go to the link in the description. But anyways, let's get started. So first off right here, um, we have three Sasha um, SDs kits. So these are pretty cool little rockets. On the very uh, right is mine that we built a long time ago. And it's like a two stages of rocket. It's like a model of a missile. But right here we have one. Um, I think it takes 24 millimeter motors, but it's a pretty cool rocket. I really want to fly mine. Uh, quick story, we actually were going to fly this thing one time, but um, I forgot to put the launch lugs on. So we were about to put it, we had the motors and everything, but I was like, wait a minute, we forgot the launch lug. So we weren't able to fly this thing. I really want to, but the middle one looks super cool. That's a really, I think those are custom decals because I didn't, mine didn't come with those. And like, that's a really nice paint job. So anyways, let's keep going. Um, uh, I, all right, so right here, this is the Hermes rocket from Alex Carrera. Um, I think this is just like a render of it in like Fusion 360 or something. I think it's still work, it's a work in progress. But anyways, you can kind of see there's a lot of stuff going on that I don't really understand. But anyways, um, you can kind of see there's landing legs there. I think I see like a little K9 there. That might be the one from K9 Rocket Technologies. Correct me if I'm wrong. Then I think here is like kind of recovery system maybe. Um, yeah, but anyways. Yeah, so right here, it looks like some type of piston system. I don't know um, what's going on here, but I think that like maybe pushes a nose cone off. Um, it's a really advanced rocket. That's like way out of my league. Anyways, here we have like the landing leg system. Um, I don't know what, what's going on, but- I am confusion. But above that we have something, I think that might be an EDF, because this is um, electric rocket. So it's not, it doesn't actually use like propellant or anything. It uses an EDF to fly and that's an electric ducted fan. So it's not really like a rocket where it goes, it's like kind of like a helicopter type thing. But anyways. Yeah, um, let's keep going. Yeah, so you can see it's called Hermes. I don't know what those two flags up there are, but it's a cool little rocket. Oh yeah, there's the EDF right there. So the little fan thing that's gonna push it up. I guess after it goes up, it's gonna land, um, hence those landing legs. So when I said recovery system later, I guess that's not a recovery system since, uh, um, since it's probably gonna land. And then you can see there's kind of like areas there so the air can actually go in, you know, that way it has thrust. But anyways, oh, I kind of like use the scroll wheel. All right, right here is, this is our last rocket, but not least, this is called the Azza rocket. So um, this is the avionics bay. Um, I think that's a Pi Pico, Pico. Um, and then, so it has, I think that's an IMU. I think they said that there was a uh, barometer as well. And I, it's all data logging onto this micro SD card. And I actually have that exact same micro SD card adapter, which is kind of funny. But, um, and then back here we have like the batteries and everything. The beautiful XT60 connectors. Um, Andres and I are really big fans of the XT60s because they're just so boom. But anyways, um, we have the Pi Pico, I think there, all on that uh, solder, the breadboard or the proto board, or I don't know what you call it. Anyways, let's keep going. Oh, so it uses uh, four D127 rocket motors. So I don't know why they're green. I think they like turn green over time. That's really weird. But four D127, that's gonna be a pain in the, it's gonna be a pain in the butt to ignite. But, so that's that's a really powerful rocket. That's, where, yeah, that, I hope we get video footage of that soon. I don't know if they've launched it. I think, most of the rockets, this rocket and the one before that, they were actually rockets that didn't fly already. 
So um, we're going to have to stay tuned. So subscribe if you guys want to see these rockets actually fly. Anyways, um, oh, there's a little description here. The rocket is called Azo, which is also my dog's name. It was fully 3D printed. That's pretty cool. I'll move on to the next slide here. Um, the files will be made available once I've flown it to make sure it all works. Yeah, so this is a pending flight. That's pretty nice. Um, it took 45 hours to print. It's my third rocket and my third 3D printed rocket. It's my first cluster rocket that uses four D127 motors. It's 54 centimeters tall and 76 millimeters wide, not including the fins. The payload is a flight computer as a FC. It measures gyro and accelerometer and temperature values from a MPU 6050 and altitude from a BMP 280. It takes a twist when we get to the microcontroller. Yeah, it uses a Pi Pico running circuit Python. The code will also be made available after the flight. And, and the PCB design, that's pretty cool once I make that. Right now it seems to work. So, it looks like this rocket's gonna fly soon, so you guys need to stay tuned. Super cool rocket. But, that's gonna be it for this video. I know it's kinda short. We didn't have many submissions over time. But if you guys are interested, there's a link in the description. I really recommend that you guys go do that. It's really cool seeing other people's rockets. And then it's a great way to show off your rockets and build techniques, things like that. But anyways, quick update here. Um, we decided that we're going to kind of take videos a bit slower now that school's starting up. So we're going to just have these little quick little fun videos going on every once in a while. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like and leave your comments. Tell us what you think about these rockets. But other than that, have a great day.